says we've been live for like six seconds. Oh, yay. Uh, but I think that's like only on YouTube. It's not. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Is it playing? It seems to be. Let's give this title and go live. Yay. I think we're live. I don't know. We might so anyway, be. Yeah. It's okay. Who cares? It's Sunday. Nobody Sunday cares on Sunday. Sunday. Let me check this. Yeah, there we stage. are. We're live. Are we? Yep, I see it. Does it look okay? Looks great. Good. We've been live for 17, 18, 19, 20 seconds. That's cool. It's cool that we can count. Like, could you imagine life if you couldn't count? Well, that's why I stopped at 20. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go to New York. I'm tired. We are. <laughs> I'm so much travel. You're How so tired are you of being on planes, George? I am super tired of being on planes. Dude, I flew. So when I flew to Houston, because I flew to Houston last weekend, and um, I met up with, with Mark and Matt and all of them, um, I flew Spirit, and that was the worst experience of my entire life. Don't ever fly Spirit. And then I flew, like, to punish myself, I flew Frontier back. It was like 50 bucks round trip. It was nothing. But you get what you pay for with those two I'm sure. planes. That was horrible. Spirit, like, we flew Frontier, right? Didn't we fly uh, Frontier to San Francisco? Or, no, we flew United. No. Yeah, it was United or Delta. I know I flew Frontier to Milwaukee. That was horrible. You basically just sit on a plastic bench that's, like, 12 inches across. It's nice. horrible. Horrible. Sounds super comfortable. Yeah. And then I got so and then when I, as soon as I got back, like the next day, I had to fly to Chicago and at least they put me on Southwest, which was nice. I got like a, a whole row to myself. Nice. And um, on the way back, there was a dude with a medical emergency on the plane that oh, I because no. like, I'm the I was apparently the only person on this entire plane that knew anything about like people who are messed up. So I had to sit and like nurse this one dude back to health and they didn't even give me like, I didn't get it. They, they, they were, they were super appreciative at the end of the flight. They were like, thanks for helping this guy. Is there anything we could do for you? And I was like, yeah, do you have any of those little wings? Like, I'd love to get a pair for my kid. And the lady was like, no, it's like, well, it's like, okay. <laughs> I'll take a flight voucher. Yeah. Could I get some peanuts or something? You ain't even got those. I don't the think dude, you're allowed to have peanuts on planes anymore. No, I don't. I, Cause of allergies, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had like trail mix. It was lame, but the, the dude had, he was like a, a Christian missionary or something. And he had went to Pakistan and was helping kids. He said, he said, uh, it's like smuggling kids across the Afghan border into Pakistan. And like, so this was on Friday and he, he was like three days before he had been bitten in the neck by a fruit bat. And he was like, I, yeah, yeah, it was weird. He was like, I haven't felt good since then. And he's like, I've seen all these things and I can't sleep. So I haven't slept in three days. And also I haven't eaten in three days. And he was, it was nuts. It was not, not oh, a good, not a good thing. I was thing. surprised to let him on the plane. He probably just didn't tell anybody. He probably just didn't tell anybody. Uh, did you um, check his reflection in a mirror just in case? Make sure he wasn't a vampire. He did tell me he wasn't vaccinated. So that was awesome. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, uh, we're going to New York. Uh, yeah. We're having the meetup uh, very soon. Uh, it's next Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and New York is requiring um, proof of vaccination um, to go indoors. So guys, we want everybody to be there. Uh, yeah. But just a heads up, make sure you have your documentation in order um, so that you can join us. Um, we want everybody who wants to be there to be there. I still have um, no idea how many people are coming. And neither no, do I. No idea whatsoever. Um, oh. Kat, what am I drinking? I am drinking um, peanut butter bourbon. Um, it's called something. Um, I don't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, but it's peanut butter bourbon. It's really good. Everybody's been talking about like that. Even the people when I went to Chicago, the people that I work with were talking about peanut butter bourbon. Is this like a new thing? I don't know. I um I was at the ABC store a couple months ago looking for a specific bourbon and uh, uh it was called skip ski ball no not ski ball something like that screwball it's called screwball there we go um and I was looking for a different type of bourbon and I saw peanut butter bourbon and I asked the uh, people there because they're super honest and they try everything 
And they're like, if you want to try peanut butter bourbon, try this. And I got one of those little airplane bottles just to try it. And it was yeah. awesome. So I bought a bottle of it and um, I have a little bit as dessert every once in a while. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. Troy Tossi wants to know if the New York meetup will be live streamed. Probably. It'll at least yeah. be recorded and played later. But yeah, I kind of want to try to live stream it so people can ask questions. Yeah, if, they, if, there's, if there's nothing preventing us from live streaming it, we will. If for some reason, you know, technology wise, we're not able to, uh, we will record it and we will post it. Yeah. Um, but uh, we do hope to be able to do it live. That way we can get live questions um, while we're there. Yeah. It's important to note that I, uh, Joellen's not coming because her husband had emergency heart surgery. Um, and I'm like 50, 50 on kit. Cause he started working on a TV show. I don't think I was supposed to say that he started working on a project. Um, mm-hmm completely unrelated to the secret, like 100% unrelated to the secret. Um, and I don't know when that starts and I don't think he knows exactly. So we're, uh, yeah, we don't know. Um, what time should we check on Saturday? Uh, the thing starts at like two Eastern time. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure. Uh, I know I talked to Ben today. He, um, he is totally coming. Uh, He found some cool stuff in his archives that he wants to try to bring if he can get them prepped in time. Otherwise, he said he'll have them available a little later, but I think he's going to have them prepped. Um, So he's going to bring some cool stuff. I spoke with Andy. Andy's still coming. Andy's super excited about everything. Uh, There's a bunch of old hunters, like old school hunters that are also coming down, um, which everybody will get to meet and hang out with. Some of the people who used to post all of the stuff that we're still using. They're going to be there. Um, Nice. I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm very, very, very excited. Um, Ben Aysen's work is phenomenal, and I can't wait to meet him in person. Dude, he has the best Um, stories. So many good stories. You have no idea. He's a genuinely funny dude as well. Um, George posted a photo of uh, something while he was in Chicago, and Ben was like, you call that a photograph? Yeah. Yeah, it was so Ben's like he's he's fascinated with water towers and he explained it to me once and I I didn't quite understand. It was like a remnant of the old days of the city or whatever. And the Chicago burial site, like if you look right over right over the fence post, there's a big building. And on the top of it is this gorgeous like glass um, water tower. So I posted a picture of it. I thought was all artsy and shit through some some branches or whatever of a tree. Yeah, he, he wasn't impressed. Yeah. I was <laughs> like, well, I got a camera phone and an Instagram account. I'm a pro. <laughs> Nick asks, have you guys heard any theories about Von Bryson Park in New York? Um, I haven't. I haven't. Not, uh, not off the top of my head. Like, I'd have to I'd have to look at it. Let's look at Von Bryson Park. Um, it's one of those things. Like, there's so many damn parks. It's a B-R-I-E-S-O-N. It's made to Breeson. It's in Staten Island. Chris says, hey, hello, Mr. Woodford. What's going That's on? Always to say. Uh, Sorry, I'm wearing oh, sleeve. It's yeah. Funny. Van Breeson Park was like a big, 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 big deal with me and JM way back, like before the podcast came out. Because um, there's like, so it's right next to a, like a fort. And then behind the fort, it's it's right on the shore, right? Like right on the water. And in between like the fort and the water, there's this this like concrete. It's not like a tunnel because it's open, but you have to walk down a bunch of stairs to get to it. It's basically where homeless people sleep now. Um, but there was a really, really good place where there was a, a set of stairs with like planters on both sides of it. Um, yeah, that was a big spot because me and John way back in the day, we're talking about going to New York together and um, just, you know to hang out and that was where we were going to dig and it just, it just never did it so yeah uh, sean sean kelly not the sean kelly but our sean kelly no says, totally the sean kelly yes yeah. what are the three uh top three contenders in your opinion for the new york location um me personally i would say uh i don't have three i only have two um my number one is coney island uh, my number two is that little park that's um close to the Verrazano Bridge. You can see from the Verrazano Bridge with the little Y in the walkway. Is that John, uh, John, that, Paul, John Paul Jones Park? Maybe. I don't even know off the top of my head. Like, I'm not even really worried about it. Like, I'm Coney Island. 
in pretty Coney Island. Uh, I mean, just because you know there's hot dogs, and I want hot dogs. <laughs> but I need coaster. to go there. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm 100. I'm all in on Coney Island. Um, a lot of people don't don't agree. Um, even even like Ben. Ben uh, Asen is, is he's very adamant that he doesn't know where the cask is, but he's like, it's pro- I, I think I, I kind of think it's uh, in that park across from where Byron lived, which is Prospect Park. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. But I'm I'm really big on Coney Island. Who knows? Uh, Charlie says it'd be interesting in hearing about thoughts on the sash. It's a huge part of the painting, but feels like it's not discussed much. That thing that you, people used to think was a lion. It looks yeah. a lot like a half lion's face. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I never really thought guys- much about it. Like I, I I just don't think there's much to see in the new New York painting. I'm like I'm I'm way out like that's not a popular opinion by any means, but I just there's definitely there's stuff there. Um but I mean if, if for me it's like the San Francisco painting, it's there and I'm not seeing it. Like the home plate. Yeah. Um I've, I've, I've reserved myself to the point that I know I can't see these things. They're hidden. So, so well, there's, there's, one, the there's, open. One, there's one weird thing about the St. Augustine, or the St. Augustine, Jesus Christ. There's one weird thing about the, uh, the New York painting that nobody really ever touches on. And it's, it's super interesting to me. And I think I can pull it up just by like dragging it over. So I'm going to kind of take over something real quick. Let's see, let's open this image. I think I can just do this. Yes. So like if you, you can't see this, Bradley, I don't think, but everybody else can. Um, if you look at, oh crap. If you look like all of this is very detailed, like in her dress with shadows and very, this distinct lines and it's shaded very well except for right here and right here where it's basically just white paint and these two areas don't make sense in like the shadow just stopping here doesn't make sense for this part of her her robe or whatever this not having a shadow doesn't make sense this this the way this fabric moves here also doesn't make sense contextually like fabric doesn't do that it doesn't do this so like that's a it's a weird thing that I've never really heard anybody discuss i mean there there was like a conversation about it once didn't last very long and then people just kind of you know got over it but i always thought like with with home plate in boston the where where it was it just looked like part of her sleeve right that was sort of unadorned and not really painted uh the new york painting seems like like that area could be like the home plate if that makes sense to me brad bradley went away oh he's back now Sorry, you can't see that, Bradley, but I, I and it's like it's super obvious when you're looking at it. Um, well, I, I saw whenever um, you pulled it up on the Facebook video because I'm watching that in the background for comments. Yeah. Um, and then for some reason, my connection froze and disconnected. But like so a long, long time ago, like Kit posted on Instagram pictures of these of, of, uh, of the New York painting and we mm-hmm. we saved them, obviously. Uh, and like, even in, I'll just bring over like that. You can see that that's just not like, it's not really painted. It's not, there's nothing done right there. You know, it, it, it just doesn't work. Like what, what is that? So I don't know. People don't talk enough about it. Yeah. Anyway, that was my, it was very odd rant for the you know what it's a lot like the shape in saint augustine that people call the bird yeah it kind of resembles that it really does maybe you figure one out you'll figure them both out maybe when we go to new york we can go to coney island and have a hot dog and dig up a cast and we'll understand what do you mean a hot dog yeah okay i have several hot dogs (laughs) rachel's been looking at like rachel's been looking at bars and she's been like going on fishbowl hunts she wants to go to bars with fishbowls and she found one that has like a 2.3 2.3 gallon margarita jesus which is insane is this it's, gonna be like a, a sporting like a team sport or? it's a, it's supposed to be for like groups but you know i think i could do a 2.3 gallon margarita yeah sure maybe who knows 
I told her my bladder was ready. All right. <laughs> Is your liver ready? No, my liver's not ready, but I can trade that part in. So there you go. That's true. Uh, so anyway, what else we got today? Um, the, um, secret Santa is up and live, um, through Elster. So, uh, um, if you guys have done that before and you would like to participate again, go on, jump on. If you have participated before and, uh, you were a Grinch and you did not, uh, fulfill your side of the bargain, um, you have been blocked from participating again. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you participate this time and you don't just know that we do provide lashings for those that do not participate, I think they were like it. I think there were only like three people that didn't send out gifts last year out of got over a hundred, whatever participants we had. Um, It was very successful. It's been very successful every year we've done it. And And if you end up participating and you end up not getting something, don't worry. We're always able to find somebody if it's not us to get you something cool. Yeah. Even like there was a couple of people that didn't get them this year. And we, I just went on, I just like bought some stuff from Chicago for those people. So we're going to send it out. Um, but yeah, the, the three people that didn't do anything, like we really didn't have to punish them. They just sort of stopped. Like we called them out and they just kind of stopped coming to the groups and they're no longer yeah. around. So whatever. It's true. No, but it's a <laughs> lot of fun. Um, I super enjoy it. I love um, getting awesome gifts and sending them out to people and surprising them. Um, uh, Linda Spalding was my secret Santa last year. Um, and I think she was pretty happy with what she got. Um, and I got some super awesome stuff last year as well. Um, So it's always a lot of fun. I love giving gifts. um, So it's a great opportunity to do that. I'm going to change like my wish list is always every year. It's the same thing. Just send me something cool from your hometown or make me something. And everybody seems to like that seems hard for people for some reason. Because like, (laughs) what are you going to send me from Idaho? Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to change that. I don't know what I'm going to say, though. Like, I don't want you to go out and buy a bunch of shit. I'll make an Amazon wish list. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Elfster actually has a really cool, um, you can like search in Elfster for stuff and they, you can add stuff to your wish list. Um, if you guys don't know what we're talking about as far as the wish list goes, um, when, when you join, don't just leave it um, up to the person to, well, I mean, you can, it's always yeah. fun just to get whatever. You don't have to make a wish list, but it makes it a lot easier on your gift giver if you create a little wish list so they know kind of what you're into. There's you been some cool leave, stuff like, though. There's been some cool oh, stuff yeah. I didn't expect. Some very cool stuff, some people, handmade crafts, some paintings, some all sorts of really cool stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, but um, no, I'm, I'm just excited for the for the trip. Um, my wife and I might stop by because we're driving up to Ohio a few days early to go camping. And then we're going to fly into New York for the event. And then we're going to fly back to Ohio and drive back. Uh, my wife went to college in Ohio. So we're going to um, go see some of her friends and her um alma mater and all that good stuff um but on our way back we're gonna try and stop by louisville to see the new bench um and to check out a spot or two nice yeah it'll be fun i've been to louisville in a long time since we went to ohio last uh brad ulrich asked where did you guys get those high-res scans are they publicly available a link per chance that's 12 12 12 treasures.com uh, he asked this on um youtube so if you just go up to the banner up top of you you can click where it says the secret homepage, or i'll post a link too why not or toilet treasures.com toilet treasures.com works too god we got so many freaking links <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's where they are. Uh, the, the New York ones are down in the comments. There's also, there's this stuff called, um, the hell did I name those pictures? Um, like altered images or, uh, let's look. Ah, reconstructed images. Yeah, yeah. reconstructed. There are those. those are- um, they sort of, they sort of look like the paintings, but they're not. Um, they're pretty to look at. Probably shouldn't use them for clues because you know they're they're, they're stunning. They are absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, yeah, they are they are altered from the original state. So uh, I would not use those for treasure hunting. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, twelve treasures dot com, Brad. Yep, that's yep. where they are. You got it. Cool. Well, I am stoked and ready for an adventure. Um, and I've got family waiting on me to carve pumpkins. Oh, you're leaving now? Maybe. That makes me sad. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, well. Unless unless we've got something else to go over. I don't I don't know. Um it's only been a, it's only been 20 minutes. Um I don't know and I don't have anybody lined up. 
Okay. Well, whatever. I mean, we can we can make it short. It's fine. I can just end. Um, and this could be like a 30 minute Sunday fun day because I'm tired anyway. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I am exhausted as well. I've been, um, we bought a van um, and uh, we're going to convert it into a, a little uh, camper kind of. Uh, we're going to put a bed in it and it's going to be our uh, travel tent, basically. It'll be a tent on wheels. Um, so we've been working on that all week and uh, I'm exhausted. I was actually just sweeping and vacuuming it out right before I came in here. Um, but yeah. That was that was a long way of me saying I'm also a little on the tired side. Um, so I'm going to go carve pumpkins with family and get pumped and get packed for New York. And I will see everybody there. OK, have a good one. Yeah. Awesome. Adios, everybody. Bye. I'm going to stay on. I'm going to stay on. You can just leave for a few I minutes. There, there was a couple of questions. I'm just going to answer. Cool. Yeah. See you later, man. Adios. Bradley okay there we go uh so Stan asked what do you think of the pictures in the newspaper that came out on the front page well they came from 12 treasures so that was nice uh there wasn't really a link though so you know damn you journalist I don't know it was cool it's always cool when it gets press even if like even if we don't agree with the press or you know most people don't agree with the press it's nice to get the puzzle in front of fresh eyes like new eyes and um when they when they came out I sent them to John Apparently that's an old article. Like it's an old newspaper from like September or something. Um, I sent him to John Palancard and he got a pretty good, he got a pretty good laugh out of him. Um, yeah. So it, it's cool. Whatever. Any, any press for the, for the puzzles. Good. Like it'll, it'll bring in new people and you know, new people, new ideas, maybe some good ideas. Or it's probably just a bunch of people talking about St. Pete, but whatever. Uh, Troy wants to know the basic plan schedule for the New York meetup. Uh, so we rented the upstairs of a place called uh, Madame My Cats. Um, we're all going to meet there at about two. Um, and we figured we'd do like a little Q&A kind of thing because, you know, you're getting, well, you're getting everybody together. Doesn't happen a whole lot, especially, you know, in person. So uh, we figured we'd do a Q&A. We'll, we'll try to live stream it too and try to keep up with some of the comments. So maybe we can get uh, some of the, you know, the viewers comments or viewers questions asked to, um, I think Ben's bringing a lot of cool stuff. Uh, usually lasts for like two hours, maybe an hour and a half or whatever. And then we'll just break and everybody can do whatever they want. Um, we've got the place uh, until five, four thirty five something like that. So everybody can hang out, chill. It's a, it's a restaurant. So we're going to be there too. You want to eat lunch late, have your lunch there. There's a bar you can get a drink. Um, so we're not going to be, you know, hanging out somewhere that's doesn't have refreshments. Um, feel free to get whatever. Um, but yeah, hang out. Ben's there to sign stuff. And if he brings photos, you can look at them or buy them. I think you can buy them. I think he's bringing stuff for people to buy. Uh, and if, if, if he's bringing what he said he's bringing, you are going to want to buy them. <laughs> Um, what day is the meetup? It's this Saturday. Uh, it's at Madame My Cats, which I should I should know off the top of my head what the address is, but I don't. So I'm going to look it up. Uh, it's on like, oh, yeah, there it is. It's uh, 987 Second Avenue, New York, New York. It's right near Grand Central, um, which... It was originally in Staten Island, which I found out, like not being in New York, you figure everywhere in New York is easy to get to. And apparently Staten Island's not easy to get to. Like you got to take a canoe or something and it takes like four hours. So we moved it from there to, you know, right, like two blocks from Grand Central where basically everybody can get there on the subway. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you. You we nine eight seven second Avenue. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be cool. I don't know how many people are showing up. Um, generally it's a lot more than say they are because like you've got the people that check in, which is awesome. I, 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 I love being able to plan for the amount of people that are going to show up, but I never can. You got the people who are check in and they generally bring like a plus one or plus four or whatever They bring the whole family and that's fine. But then people just show up. So who knows how many people are going to be there? Um, it should be fun. 
Nick said there's a cool immigration fact about Von Briesen Park and a small fact about it that I think is in the image. I got to get all the other matches to make the theory more solid, though. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, Brad Ulrich's asked, are these drum scans from the original book? No. Uh, the only actual uh, drum scans we have are uh, of Boston. And it's like a pre- uh, a pre version of Boston is like Boston version one, though. John is pretty adamant that it, that Boston version one, the drum scan that we have is not done by him. It's like it's done by him, but like things are covered up and they weren't covered up by him. Like there's touch ups that he didn't do. Um, but I think like looking at the image, I'm 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 almost certain that he is mistaken because there's stuff that like isn't in the image in version one that is in version two that you, you can't really cover up. Um, it, it's, it's difficult to explain, but I think he's mistaken. I think this like at least portions of this were painted and then painted over by him. It's um, it's weird. Uh, Brad says, I see the half tones. Yeah, no, they're just really, really good scans of the first edition of the book. Like the drum, drum scans from the book wouldn't have those half tones. Drum scans are basically like, like photos, like super high resolution photos. Actually, they, they look, I'll show you what a drum scan looks like. Hang on one second. Look at my hat. It's a 39. Super cool to see the inside of the Chicago hat. Uh, this is what a drum scan looks like. It doesn't look like much right now, but that's Boston. You can see it's like a transparency um, that's used for, for color grading and all this kind of shit. But it's super, super, super high resolution. Um, and this is the only one we have. Uh, John has the rest of them, but he ain't giving those out. So there you go. Um yeah, the images you see on 12 Treasures are just super, super high uh, resolution scans of um, with like a really high DPI of the original, the first edition book. And then the reconstructed images are like, it's they're hard to explain how they were made, but there's a lot of algorithms and shit involved. Um, but they were gener more generated than anything. Um, yeah. I would normally totally agree, but the actual painting just has a gray square. Uh, yeah, New York just has a gray square where the church is. So, yeah. I still think, like, so if you look at the really high-res scans of New York where that church is, there are no halftones. Like, that was that was a purposeful color that they chose, and I think that color matters. Like, for some reason, I can't figure out why. Like, I don't know. But that color has to be important, the color of that church. It's a weird color. And it's specific. Like, they used that exact color ink for that. And then they didn't do that for any other portion of the book. So, anyway, yeah, there's that. Uh, we're going to be around New York, me and Bradley. I, I forget when he's leaving. I think he's leaving, like, early Monday. And I'm leaving, like, Monday night. Um, so if you guys want to get together for anything afterwards, just let us know and we'll try to work it out. I don't know what those friggin' dots are in New York. Yeah. You and me both. Um, yeah. So. Huh. So the, the dots, there, there was like an allegorical story a long time ago, um, that John, uh, Palancar, when he was painting those dots, uh, showed them to Byron and Byron looked like he explained how to Byron, how that part of the puzzle worked. And Byron was just like, Ooh, that's really hard. Um, and then once the book was printed, it didn't really like that. You couldn't, it, the, the, it, it didn't really work. And I don't know why that would be. <coughs> um, I mean, other than, you know, the colors change a little bit when you're, uh, printing, but it's not like, that drastic of a change so much so that the puzzle just wouldn't work. I, I wouldn't think unless there were minute differences. Anyway, um, there, that's the, that's the sort of, that's the, that's the legend, um, around that. Yeah. T 
Tim O'Dwyer says church equals equals Brooklyn, the borough of churches. I mean, that's it's good. It's a good thing. I mean, like each each of the, the other puzzles seem to have stuff like that, like little nicknames of the cities in them in some way, like uh, uh, Cleveland's the forest city. It's the only painting with a forest in it. Um, Milwaukee's the cream city, which is lame, but the entire painting is drab. Um, Chicago's the windy city. It's got the big windmill in it. Uh, so who knows? What was Boston? Boston's made sense. It's like the, is it the porthole of the universe or some shit? It was something like that. Uh, yeah. So borough of churches, I mean, it's not out of the, out of the realm of possibility. Um, any front runners for him of hardware? There's a lot of them that like, and they were super creative before the Japanese hints came out. Like him of hard word. Like my favorite one was Rockefeller because like rock is hard and, feller is him if you're southern um that was something like chris preacher came up with a long time ago um but now that the japanese hints came out people just sort of attach themselves to uh um uh, uh, uh to dickens and they don't budge yeah so there it is anyway um it hasn't been long uh, but I am going to leave because I had a flight Saturday and I had a flight Monday and then I had a flight Friday and I've been working in the absolute worst place you could work in Chicago for like a week. I've put in like 80 hours last week and it sucked. Um, so I'm going to go and go to sleep. <laughs>